Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cooking with E and T. Cooking with T and E. What's up? What's up? What's up, E and T gang? What's up? That's what's up. What's up, E and T gang? What's up? Y'all check this out. Today I am doing another segment of different dishes for y'all. Check out my first video, which is the barbecue chicken. And the second video is now is the pasta salad. All our pasta salad lovers out there, please try this recipe and tell me how you like it. That's what's up. I'm not going to prolong, waste no time. This is how it's going to get down. We First of all, we got our water already on the stove. Please believe me. And it's hot piping. You see the smoke, all of that. We got that done. So what we're going to do is add some salt and pepper to season this pasta. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add that salt and pepper here. And we're in the fat. want you to push it back. Okay. Put that pepper up in now. And I have gotten from my viewers that some people don't know how to do pasta. And they don't like that it's thick. So they asked me to show this. And I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. You don't have to. Sometimes I just use the salt and pepper, maybe some garlic powder, onion powder. You can season your water the way you want to. But unfortunately, the only way I'm doing this is I'm going to do it with salt and pepper and olive oil, okay? The thing about pasta is you got to pay some attention. You just can't leave it on the stove and not pay it any attention. It is a very needy dish. It needs your attention. Okay? So I'm just going to let that kind of simmer a little bit. And while this is simmering and kind of mixing up a little bit, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And I'm going to bring y'all back over here. And we're going to knock out what needs to be in the pasta okay and i've already have prepped everything that needs to be in here we're gonna add shrimp instead of ham or turkey we're gonna do shrimp today we're gonna um add in some sliced olives these are optional i'm gonna do black and i'm gonna do green because i like them okay all right we're gonna do <clears throat> cucumbers and some green onions, also known as scallions. I love them. That's why. Okay? You don't have to do it. That's optional for you. And I also have some purple onions. These are cut up. We're going to just throw a little bit in there. We're not going to go cray-cray over there. Okay? And then we're going to have uh, some tomatoes. And I like to use these because I cut them up. Hey, I do the work. When I do mine, I put some mad love in mine. Okay? That's what's up. And then we're going to add some cilantro. Now, I have to get this out to my boyfriend's. Um, niece, she gave me the idea of the cilantro. So this is out to you, baby. I am here to tell you. She put the cilantro in hers, and hey, I went for it. So I'm still in her recipe. Okay, Keandra. Okay, and then we got us uh, some medium um, cheddar cheese. Okay, and I'm going to have zesty Italian. I'm going to use that, but I'm going to spruce it up a little bit. It already has its own kick, but I'm just going to add a little extra to mine. I'm going to add some um, minced garlic in it, and then I'm going to add a little red wine vinegar. Just to just give that, uh, uh, but if you like ranch, you can add ranch into yours. I want mine to be the vinegar. I like the vinegar taste. So let's get this over with. How about that? So y'all can, we can move on to another dish. I'm not going to leave y'all in here too long with this, okay? So we're going to knock this out. I've already kind of cut up my green onions. So I'm going to put my cucumbers on the side. And I need to get a big bowl. Where's my bowl? Okay, we're going to take these out. And put it over here on this here um, cutting board. Because we're just going to cut it up. That's all we're going to do is cut it up. Let me give me a napkin and take this excess water up out of hand for y'all, okay? Because we're going to put all the mixture of everything that's going to go into the pasta into this bowl. And then we're going to fix the pasta, pasta and then we're going to turn around and knock all that out. That's all. That's all. That's all, that's all we're going to do. So since I've already cut this up, let me break some of these little big pieces. We're going to go ahead and throw that in there. That's the green onions. There's no order in the way it needs to go into the bowl, okay? No order. 
okay? Now we're gonna cut up these um, sweet peppers, okay? We're gonna cut these up. What I do with my knife? Here you go. We're just gonna cut these up and we're gonna make like thin slices. We're not gonna put big slices in here, okay? We're gonna do it as so. I just took them and cut them in half. And I'm going to make them a little smaller by cutting them down the middle, okay? Just like that. Nothing to really worry about. Nothing going to hurt your harm you. They sweet anyway. And this is optional. You don't have to use them. You really don't. This is just a new idea of a way to do your pasta. That's all. How y'all doing today? How are my working parents out there that's working their butt off to make sure these kids got everything they need and they want, you know, and what you can afford, okay? Kids need to understand they can't get everything that they see. In that case, you will have it without asking. Please believe me. So that's how we're going to do this. Let me get us some orange ones and some more red over here thank you Keandra for this recipe I'm going to have to call and tell I stole it <laughs> how about that there's nothing wrong with stealing people recipe there's nothing wrong with it if it's good to you and they'll write my studio audience Cause she gonna tear it up, honey. She's leaving me, y'all. This is my friend. I love her to the end. In Chucky way. I might have to Chucky her to make, stay, make her stay. But that's all right. I'm gonna have places to go and eat. So she's gonna be scouting me some places in Texas that I can go and try when I get ready to go on my trips. But I'm gonna let y'all know when I go so y'all can put some stuff out there and tell me too, some places to try. And y'all can start today. Y'all don't have to wait until, cause you know, when I go, I go. Y'all can let me do my homework and see and then she can find them for me and I can go on here and just show up. You know what I mean? Okay, this is how we do it. All right, I'm going to do this last one right here. And then I'm going to move on to the tomato. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to dice these in fours. Oh, you don't have to. You can just dice them in half. In fours to me is good. If not half, it is what it is. Wait a minute. I'll take it for the fours. Because these are a little bigger than I would normally buy. They didn't have the little small ones. We could just dice them in half. But hey, it's all good. This thing I want to cut. Get in there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to sharpen this. Because she's trying to cut up on me. Mm, yeah, I'll do it like that. Cut it across. And the long way. Call it that. That's still fours. Okay. Y'all, did y'all see that Auburn game last night? All my Auburn fans, please. Did y'all see it? Well, y'all probably, by the time y'all see this here, it ain't no telling what that is going to be. I ain't going to lie to you. But Auburn came through. I was proud of them. Um, I'm not a Bama fan for all the Auburn people out there, but please don't hold that against me because I'm still giving you great content up in here, okay? All right. I'm still giving y'all great content. I feel Auburn did a great job. Um, they had us on pins and needles, but however, you know what? I wanted to see how Auburn was going to do under pressure, and they did not let me down. So this can be a start to a very, very good season. I'm sorry. You know, you know, I'm just being real. I mean, you know, number two ranked Bama, you know, they um, did play in the battle rank, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They don't play anybody good until about the fourth game. But I guess they can run on everybody to stay number two. You know, hey, it's easy. That's easy. That's the easy route. 
Okay. And then, you know, it only takes one second to win or lose a game. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm bringing up old stuff. I'm going backwards. Okay. But anyway, y'all, this pasta salad is going to be delicious. Let's go to the cucumber. And I'm just going to make thin slices of cucumbers, thin slices. I'm just going to go all the way down, just like this, just so. You know, I don't really like big, thick cucumbers in my pasta salad. So I'm just going to do this here. All right. And then I'm just going to go down the middle. Just like that. If everybody didn't cut, get cut, they just didn't get cut. And then I'm going to go back and do it in fours. How about that? Easy peasy. You might have to break them a loose. But hey, who cares? Do it. It's worth it. The pasta salad is everything if you do it right. My cousin make a great pasta salad too. Maybe I can get her to come over and do it too. Do her version of one. She does a great one. I eat it. I eat it to death. I take so much home, I steal it behind her back. <laughs> you don't have to, you can laugh. You don't have to be quiet. She don't want to talk over him. She made a pizza. Oh my gosh. It was so good. I'm hopefully we got one more. Maybe I could talk her into like doing the pizza on camera. She want to act shy. I ain't with that shy stuff. She don't act shy when she be getting on me about my attitude, y'all. I'm going to put that on that because I'm that type of friend. <laughs> Her son fine too. <laughs> hey, son. <laughs> I'm going to make sure he get to see this with me telling him that he fine. Too bad he taking her. Honey. She don't like me to say I'll take him on a ride. You know, like the Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up so okay we got the cucumbers cut up everything cut up that's it everything that we need is in this pasta salad that we're gonna have so let's go tend to this pasta and y'all for the people that don't know how to do pasta please do not make this a big deal because it's not that big of a deal now you see how that is boiling that water is boiling do i have y'all up enough or close enough do i need to go back back all right everything is in here that we wanted to be in here let me grab this oh i'm gonna get that I'm going to grab this here pasta, and we're not going to stay over here the whole entire time. But what you do is, you get yourself a nice little handful of this pasta. And then what I do is, I break it in half. I go one direction, spreading it apart, and then I go into the other direction, spreading it apart. So it won't overlap on each other. See what I'm saying? You say what I'm you see it? Now let me do it one more time. Break it in half. Go one way. Make sure it's fall apart. And go this way. And make sure it fall apart. Okay? And the thing about it is, you gotta stay over here and make sure she treat it right. You gotta go up here. You gotta pick it up, drop it back down. Now, this is how I keep mine from sticking. I'm not gonna say that it don't always stick or something, but that's when you don't give it the attention that it needs. Okay? So while that is over here for a second, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my cilantro off and I'm going to cut it up so we can assemble all of this together. Oh, okay. I thought something had happened over there. I'm just rinsing off my cilantro. And while that's rinsing, I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to check on this pasta because you, you got to give it some attention. She loves attention. I like to use the tongs because the tongs picks it up and separate it very, very well. There we go. Yes, yeah, right there. Just like that. Make sure all of it down in the water. 
It's gonna handle its business while I'm over here cutting up this cilantro. And this is the reason why I'm showing y'all the pasta cups. Like I said, some people ask to show how to do pasta, so. I'm doing the pasta to make sure that everybody get an opportunity to learn how to properly cook pasta. I did a rough chop on the cilantro, so you don't really have to cut that much. I didn't um, do too much of it, so back over here to the pasta. See that? I'm going to go ahead and drain my olives and stuff while this pasta is going, while y'all get to see how the pasta is. For the people that don't know how to cook pasta, I'm going to use the little green, red onions I told y'all already had. I'm just going to cut that up real fine and do um, all of my... Um, Do my olives and have that ready so we could just mix and go. Mix and go. Cut these onions up right quick. See, it's not going to take that pasta long at all to get ready. Not at all. And these little purple onions I had already diced up. I just went ahead and cut them on a little bitty and I'm going to add that in there and then I'm going to open up these cans and drain y'all see how good that's doing come back over here make sure it's not sticky because pasta don't take long to cook you just have to be very attentive to that pasta y'all I'm sorry I got my knives all up in here but that's all right. It's all good. This is for my pasta. And this is because some of my studio audience asked me to do this. Okay. By the time I get through doing this little bit on this side, we'll be ready to drain and strain that pasta, baby. Look at that. See how it got right where it is and none of it is sticking. It's not sticking because I've been using the tongues and making sure that they fall apart and the way that I put it in there, that is a good way. You just have to pay attention. Okay? That'll be done in a minute. I'm just cutting up a little bit more little stuff to go into the pasta. I'm um, yeah, into the pasta salad, like a little bit more bell pepper, the sweet bell peppers. Okay, a little more of that. Is this gonna be a nice little bowl? Okay, 
Okay. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Okay, to me, it looks done because it's a little clear, but let me taste it. Okay. Let me give it about two more minutes, and we are straight. much where we want it to be okay that is correct we're gonna turn this stove off i'm gonna move y'all back over here so hopefully that have helped my pasta people that don't know how to cook pasta so i'm trying to help with my with all of with uh, what i can do to help as far as my subscribers asking me to do so all right the pasta is done and what we're going to do is we're going to pour it out. We're going to just do that. Got to get all the water out. Every bit of the water, okay? And guess what? Y'all, I don't miss my pasta. I just don't. I don't see the use of it at all. But we got to get this pasta to cool down, okay? We definitely got to do that. Oh, I don't want to use this bowl. It's way too big and unnecessary. I'm going to use this one. Even though it's not a clear bowl. Okay. This pasta is definitely going to have to cool down. So what I'm going to do is, I was going to give it an ice bath, but I'm not. What I'm going to do is let it cool down, and then I'm going to come back with y'all and put it all together with y'all, okay? So I'm not going to say peace. I'm not, because I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back to finish up the pasta salad. So what y'all going to need right now is a bowl, because I'm going to make the dressing up what I'm going to need. Okay, so what we're going to start off with on the dressing, which the dressing is already made anyway. This is called uh, Zesty Italian. I like the zest. I love it. It is what it is. Okay. We're going to open that up. And um, Italian already has um, garlic in there. It already has it. But I'm just going to add a nice little spoonful of garlic up in here. Just like that. That's it. Nothing else of minced garlic. Okay. And then we're going to add the Italian mixture into this, okay? And it already has the garlic in there, so we just really giving it just like a boom. That's it. And we're gonna add in some red wine vinegar, just to thin it out a little bit, not the bad. And trust me, we're not gonna use a lot. I'll just say a good shit, 10 shakes, that's about it. And guess what? You got your dressing, okay? Ooh. That, those eyes will be, I mean, like, really, okay. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention, okay? All right, I'm going to add some pepper in here as well, some black pepper, some black, black pepper. Because I love it. All right, and then guess what? We have some shrimp. Like I said, I only want to flavor this shrimp, and I'm going to flavor it with, the sauce okay so we're just gonna add the shrimp into the sauce instead of just putting salt and pepper on it adding in there just add it into the sauce and get it good and coat it that's all you got to do okay good and coat it good and coat we're gonna add a little more into them and there we go okay people that's it that's your dressing nothing to do all right, let me get the noodles out the refrigerator because we had to get them to cool down before we did anything to it. I'm going to use my hands because I'm from the south. So let me wash them so you can't say this nasty, okay? <clears throat> Well, no, 
not really going to use my hand. <laughs> but however, it is what it is. I'm going to use these tongs, really being all honest to. I was going to use my hands to kind of pick this up. And see, for the people that don't know how to do the pasta, that's been in the refrigerator. And look, it's not sticking. So if y'all follow how I told you to do the pasta, you'll be straight, okay? All right. <clears throat> so let's get started. And we're going to put in our mixed vegetables and everything that I told you that I had in here. Cucumber, bell pepper, cilantro, olives, um, onion, green onion, red onion. We're going to put all that in here. Just like that, cucumbers and I'm trying to use this little spoon. What the heck am I doing? Okay. And we're going to just mix this up. Let me come a little closer to y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing. We're going to mix this up. I'm going to mix it up really, really good. Okay. And then we're just going to add the sauce and the shrimp into it. Okay. So let me not add too much of the dressing in first. Let me get the shrimp out of here because we're going to eat all this shrimp, okay? And then the dressing will fall as, as it goes. But we're going to try to get the majority of the shrimp out of here. We're going to get all the shrimp out of here. And we're going to go from there if we need to add any more dressing, okay? Can y'all see this? In fact, let me bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, right there. Can y'all see that? So we got the dressing mixed up in here. We got all of that. And the only thing we're going to add in here is we're going to add some of this. We're going to add the rest of it because we're not going to let it go to waste. That's what we're not going to do. Ugh. Let me put that to the side. I'm not letting any of that go to waste. That's all good, good, okay? Cilantro, green onion, and all, okay? And then we're going to add the remaining of the dressing. So that was enough. That actually was more than enough, okay? Y'all follow this recipe. Y'all going to love it, okay? Oh, that looks so good. And y'all can mix it up as long as y'all want. Because I'm going to mix it up to some more. However, we're going to let this get good and cool. And then we're going to top it off with our cheese. And right now I'm just going to coat this at the top. And I'm going to add the rest later and mix it up later. Okay? But however. Ain't that pretty? She's pretty. She's good and pretty. Okay? All right, y'all. So let me get my thumbnail. All right. <laughs> Don't y'all laugh at that, okay? Yeah, in fact, laugh at it. So guess what? Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment down below, and come back cooking with E and T. Cooking with T and E. P. And hey, don't forget to watch the barbecue chicken, the pasta salad, the fried cabbage, and don't forget that we're doing asparagus. So I will see you on that video. Peace.